What's going on guys? Today's video is all about fishing near interstates. That right all in there is Interstate I-69. It's gonna be insane because we're gonna be fishing this, uh, it's kind of like a naturally spring-fed lake. We're gonna be ripping some lips today, boys. We got a lot of largemouth in here, a lot of bluegill. Let's get some largies though. Hopefully we catch them. Uh-oh. That ain't good. Oh yeah. Large mouth. What? I seen some bluegills, but that was about it. Oh God, oh God, sorry. I'm gonna go that way. Cause this is, but this is, it's like a drop off. Like this is crazy deep. It's gotta be. Cause you can see up to about 10 feet. Fish right here. Yep, bluegill. This is incredible. I wish we had some live bait or something. Fish like we do in Florida with the shiners around the, the piers. There's one. First large man. Yeah, that's the clearest bass ever. You can tell that comes from a good water source. That's incredible. First bass off the new lake. Do we even know what this lake is called? I don't know if it has a name. <laughs> that was way down there though. I don't think that was anywhere near the top. There we go, first bass. Off a of very, very loud interstate. There's one. Feels like a good one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, keep them on, keep them on, keep them on. Much better fish, much better. Yes! Fish number two from the depth. This is a good pound and a half. -er. I'll take that all day, buddy. They're coming from deep. I'm probably fishing about 15, 20 feet of water here. Just something I am not accustomed to by any means, but I'm trying to get that bait down as far as I can get it. That way I can catch these fish because they're not really shallow here. Fish number two. Excellent little bass. Very happy with that. It's really important to be fishing out deep. I think that's where these fish are today. I wish I had some deep diving crankbaits. You can see bluegill all over in this water. So I'm sure there's a lot, a lot of bass in here eating on them. I can see a little bass right there. Probably about four inches long, but I know there's big bass deep in here. I've fished the shallows a little bit and I haven't seen much action. I've seen a few bluegills, but on the edges of these drop-offs, which is where I'm at right now, it's kind of where the reeds separate from the open water. There's a lot of big fish in here. There's fish number three. Still a little guy. We'll take that any day though. Fish number three. Gosh dang it, this is a brand new lake and I'm smoking them. I just had to figure it out. The biggest thing is I gotta get that bait down, which is very difficult for me because I don't fish deep ever. So I'm pumped right now. This is working out. It's incredibly windy out here today. I'm sure you can tell by the wonderful audio. Caught three. Yep, 
Well, two since you've been gone. Yeah, one was about a pound and a half. It's so deep, you gotta get that bait way down. enjoyed today's episode. I'm underneath the interstate right now and it is pretty loud under here so hopefully you can hear me. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode though. It was a lot of fun. It's really going to be a short one but I wanted to share and show you guys this new lake. It's a lot of fun to come out and try a new lake so I definitely think you guys should try it at some point. Get out of your comfort zone and try something new. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys next time.